Good morning, afternoon, evening, night, who knows? But I hope you're having a good one, whatever it is. And um, so the teens slash young adult group has been studying through the book of Matthew via text message. And this week we started in Matthew chapters 5 through chapter 7. Uh, and that's the Sermon on the Mount. Uh, it's a section of scripture that a lot of us have probably familiarized ourselves with over the over the years or whatever. We've probably heard snippets of it here and snippets of it there if we haven't read through the entire thing. Um, but I want to challenge you guys to read through all of it, all three verses, uh, five, six, and seven. Um, and I, because as I was reading through it, I realized that in the past I had potentially misunderstood a few things because I had taken them out of the framework of the rest of the sermon. You know, when you listen to a sermon, when, when somebody presents a sermon to you, you typically hear the entire thing start to finish, and so everything aligns and makes sense. Jesus is doing the same thing. He's giving a sermon, and so we need to see the whole picture rather than just taking snippets out of it. There's good sections. There's good stuff in there, but I want to challenge you guys to read the entire thing. And uh, Jesus ends his sermon in chapter 7, verses uh, 24 through 27, by saying this. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. So if we're going to be wise, if we're going to be wise and, and have security in the storms of life and, and be comforted, we need to know what God's Word says. More importantly, we need to put it into practice. But how can you put it into practice without knowing what it says? So we need to be in the Bible. So I want to challenge you guys, two challenges. One is a, a new challenge. Another is a reoccurring challenge or a continued challenge. The first one, Read Matthew chapters 5 through 7. Read the whole Sermon on the Mount. Think on it. Study on it. But read the whole thing in one go. Okay? Um, second challenge, the continued challenge, is reach out to somebody who might not have the same technical advantages that we do and, and remind them that they're loved, that they're still a part of the family, and that they're, they're cared for and being prayed for. Uh, so two challenges. I want you to go ahead and... and Please, please do those two things. Um, know that you're loved, that you're being prayed for, and we'll, uh, we'll see you soon. All right, take care.